Uh, welcome to lesson 8.1. It's about similar shapes and scale drawings. So how do you use scale drawings to solve problems? And what even is a scale drawing? Well, scale drawings and scale models are used in map making, construction, and other trades. So what we're looking at here is a blueprint. And that's a technical drawing that usually displays architectural plans. Pete's blueprint shows a layout of a house. And let me uh, zoom in on this. So uh, every four inches in the blueprint represents three feet in the actual house. And so this right here, this looks like, uh, well, this looks like the, this is a doorway into a bedroom. And here's a bathroom. And that looks like it could be a little kitchen. And these look like stairs here. So every four inches is three feet. So every four inches represents three feet. So that's 24 inches. So you'd multiply uh, that by three and that would tell you how many feet you have. So one of the walls of the blueprint is 24 inches long. So what is the actual length of the wall? Oh, I was wrong. Actually, you don't have to multiply by four, but I'm going to show you what to do here. Uh, you don't have to multiply by three. That was a little bit of a mistake, but here we go. So uh, in this table, four inches represents three feet. So if I double this number, I would have to double this number. And that's an increase of four. If I triple this number to 12, I would have to triple this number, which means multiply it by three. If I quadruple, if I multiply this by four, I get 16. If I multiply three by four, I get 12. And if I multiply by five, I get 20. By five, I get 15. And by six, I get 24. And by six, I get 18. All the while, you are also, each time you add four, you have to add three. Okay, in this blueprint, sidewall is 16 inches long. And so, how many feet is that? Well, we can look here. 16 inches long is 12 feet. What you could also do is you could see four thirds is our scale right here. And if I multiply four times four is 16, so I'd have to multiply three times four, and that is our missing variable, 12. The back wall of the house is 33 feet long. So what is the length of the back wall? So this back wall is 33 feet, I believe. Or I'm sorry. Oh, the back wall is 33 feet. Yeah. So what is the length of the wall in the blueprint? Okay, so it should be 44 inches. So what I did here too is you might be wondering, well, how do I know where the X goes? Well, this stays the same. And the four is the inches that's in the blueprint and the feet is in the actual. Okay. So, and they even tell us right here, four inches in the blueprint, three feet actual. So that means that what we're trying to do, well, what we're given is 33 feet right there. So anything with feet would go into the denominator. Anything with inches would go in the numerator. And we're trying to find the length of the blueprint. And so that's going to be in inches. So that tells us it's going to be in the numerator right there. 3 times 11 is 33, so 4 times 11 is 44. So it's in the back wall is going to be 44 inches on the blueprint. Let's see how reasonable this is. How do you know the answer to number 2 is reasonable? Well, for 18 feet of the actual length, the blueprint is 24 inches. And 2 times 18 is 36, which would be shown as 24 times 2, or 48 inches in the blueprint. So for 33 feet, 44 inches, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay. So, using a scale drawing to find the area. So similar shapes are proportional figures that have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. So proportion. Remember, a proportion is two equal fractions. And that's what we were using right here. I was using a proportion right there, two equal fractions. Okay. A scale is a ratio between two sets. And ratio is really just a fancy word for fraction. It's a fraction between two sets of measurements. It shows how a dimension in a scale drawing is related to the actual object. So that scale here, the scale was four inches to three feet. That was the scale right there. Okay. Um, scales are usually shown as two numbers related in a colon, or it could be a fraction as well. 
So 1 to 20 would be 1 centimeter is, uh, or, or you can have 1 centimeter colon 1 meter. Scales can be shown in the same unit or in different units. So that could be 1 foot to 20 feet, or in this case, 1 centimeter to 1 meter. Anyway, the art class is planning to paint a mural on an outside wall. The figure is a scale. And uh, a drawing of the wall, what is the area of the actual wall? What is the area of the actual wall? Okay, so we find the number of feet represented by one inch in the drawing. We have our scale right here. And two inches in the drawing represents three feet in real life. So two inches to three feet. So find the, uh, so what we're doing is we're finding the number of feet represented by one inch in the drawing. So if I divide that by two, that's one inch represents one and a half feet in real life. Okay, and that's what that's saying right there. So find the height of the actual wall labeled 11 inches in the drawing. So one uh, inch times 11, so 11 inches, so multiplied by 11, so 11 inches is equal to, uh, in real life, uh, one and a half feet times 11, which is 16.5 feet. So 11 inches is 16 and a half feet. And that's what this is right here. So that part right there is 16 and a half feet in real life. Uh, find the length of the, one, uh, uh, of the wall labeled 28 inches. So we multiply 28 times one is 28. One and a half times 28 is 42. So the other side is 42 feet uh, long. So this side right here is going to be 42 feet in real life. Now that we have those two dimensions, the 16.5 and the 42, so we've got these two numbers here, we multiply them to get the area, and we get 693 feet squared, or square feet. Okay. Analyze the relationships. So write the scale in example one as a unit rate. Okay, here's the scale. Two-thirds inches per foot. All right. Uh, show that this unit is equal to the ratio of the height uh, of the ratio of the height of the drawing to the actual height. So what we have is the height of the drawing was 11 inches to the actual was 16.5. That's what we got right here. So 11 inches uh, in the drawing is actually 16.5 feet in the real in real life so that's where this is coming from right here and it's from the instructions here to find the unit rate here i divide them both by the denominator so that divided by that is one and that divided by that is actually two-thirds and that shows that these are the same right there let's analyze the relationships write the ratio of the area of the drawing to the area of the actual uh, mural so the area of the drawing 308 and we get 308 by uh, multiplying 28 times 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 308. That's 28 times 11. And uh, we get 693. That's the area of the actual uh, wall right there. So this is the actual, this is the area of the drawing and the area of the actual wall. And we make a ratio of that. Write your answer as a unit rate. Okay. So we have, uh, oh, what this equals is uh, four ninths. Oh, I'm sorry. This. So when I, I zoomed in here quick here, because I want to show you that this right here, this fraction actually simplifies to four ninths. So if I divide them each by 77, I get 4 ninths. So that simplifies there. And so that is, uh, there's my 4 ninths. So that simplifies to that. I can put it over 1. And the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of what times itself is 4? 2 times itself is 4, and 3 times itself is 9. And why am I doing that? Because this is the area, and if I find the side lengths you have to take the square root of each side a little bit confusing on that but they say write your answer as a unit rate okay fine i took that made it unit rate show that this unit rate is equal to the square of the unit 
rate in four. So yeah, I square this and two times two is four and three is that little number is squaring it. So two times two is four and three times three is nine. So these are equivalent to each other if you square that. Okay. So the other part is this is right here. Sorry about that. So the drawing plan for an art studio shows a rectangle that is 13.2 inches by six inches. Okay. That's important. The scale of the plan is three inches in the drawing is five feet in real life. Find the length of the width to the, of the actual, find the length and width of the actual studio, then find the area of the actual studio. So I like to start off with well, the drawing to the actual, the drawing is three inches to five feet. I have that right here. And, um, so the, find the length and width. Well, I found the length here. The length is what? 13.2 inches. So 13.2 inches is how many feet? Well, to find that out, I multiply these two together. And, uh, and then I divide by three and I get 22. So five times 13.2 is I'll show you right here. Five times, oops, five times 13.2 is equal to 66 and 66 divided by three divided by three is 22. Okay. And, uh, let's see on this one. Yeah, there we go. And then the width. So here's my three fifths again. That's that scale and six inches this time in the drawing. So six inches in the drawing is, uh, what on the actual. So six times five is 30, 30 times three X uh, uh, equals three X. And then 30 divided by three is 10. So that is the width is 10 to take the area. I take the length times the width 10 times 22 and I get 220 square feet. Okay. So drawing in different scales. A scale drawing of a meeting hall is drawn on centimeter grid paper. Okay. One centimeter is equal to three meters. So each centimeter equates to three meters. Okay. Suppose you redraw the rectangle on centimeter grid paper using a scale of one centimeter is six meters. The new scale one centimeter represents. So one centimeter represents more because now it represents six meters instead of three meters, uh, more than one centimeter on the old scale. And the measurement of the, each new side of the new drawing will be half as long as the measurement on the old drawing. So yeah, so one centimeter is three meters. Okay. So yeah. And now going from three to six, it's going to cover more in each centimeter, which means the drawings can be half as long. Uh, draw, yeah, okay, so if we have uh, one is three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so each centimeter represents three meters, so this represents, represents uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four meters. This represents twenty-four meters. Now, for the other one, if it covers six, I only have to go four. One, two, three, four. See it, and uh, and then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I only have to go one, two, three. So the new drawing would just have to be that big with this new scale of one centimeter is six meters. Find the actual length and width of the hull using the original scale. Okay, the original scale was one centimeter equals three meters. So each centimeter is three meters. And so we have the length is eight times three. So that's eight, eight times three, because each centimeter is three meters. So it'd be eight of these times three, and that's 24 meters. The width is six times three. So this is six times the three, and that is 18 meters. With the new scale, the length is four times six. It's only four because instead of 
uh, one to three is now one to six. So each centimeter represents six meters. So I only have to go half as far. So it's going to be four times uh, this four times six now because each of these represents six. Four times six, which is 24. Same as this. And the width is six times three because now I only have to go half as much. I have to do um, six. There's the six. Six times three, one, two, three. And six times three is 18. The answers are correct because both scales give the same actual lengths. Great. Explain how you know that there is a proportional relationship between the first and second drawings. Each length in the first drawing is two times the corresponding length of the second. Now, corresponding means the sides that match up. So, this is two times the length of this. And this is two times the length of this. That's what that's talking about. It's two times the corresponding length of the second drawing. Because the second drawing is actually this right here inside. The new scale versus the old scale. Uh, so the rate is two units per one unit. So since the rate is constant, the relationship is proportional. Yeah, no matter what, it's going to be two units to one unit. From old scale to new scale. Okay. That is all you got to know about scale drawings and proportional relationships.